Alright, looks like nothing more is here that uh, needs to be addressed. Kinda need conserve on bombs, but you know me. I don't listen to my own advice sometimes. Alright, so let's go to the left again. Damn it, I lost my ability to flash people. Jeez. <sighs> Hi guys, Captain Pell LP. Welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, the, the original. In the last episode, well, we completed level 7 and got um, the red candle. So in this next episode, or in this episode, we're going to go to level 8 right off the bat. So let's go ahead and just refill and keep it moving. Because we need to kind of work it, work it, work it. So, we're now I have the ability to kind of deal with some more issues. And I apologize for not having my full screen last time. It wouldn't show. So, if things were a bit off, I apologize. But there's just one thing I wasn't going to do, do again. And it's just driving me crazy, so I really apologize if the bottom part of the screen was faded out, but you're just going to have to deal with it because I ain't going to repeat the third level. It was too long of a level. So, let's go on and work our way to the level 8. I'm trying to make a good game out of this, but it's being a bunghole right now. Last episode, it was messing up because I did show the bottom part of the screen. But this one, my mouse wants to slide everywhere, and it's just driving me crazy. But let's go ahead, and we're now moving and moving and moving to level eight, which just should not be too far from here. And let's go ahead and get the boomerang. And we're going to go straight to level 9 in the next episode. We're not even going to wait. We're just going to go straight to level 9 and beat the first quest. Because I promise you in the, level, in the second quest, there will be a little bit more... A little bit more um, level to see. So we're just going to... A little more of the overall to see. But for right now, I think we're just going to keep it... Keep it... Going, more or less. So, we gotta go through the forest here. So, let's keep it going, keep it going. I can attack from long distance. Yeah, that's what you call a long distance shot. Bad pun joke, I know. But, here we are. We're at level 8. And this one... Is a bit more difficult because as the return of the dark knight. Oh no. So let's start off with going left here. Oh, we got this crabby crab again. Like Mara would say crabby crab of crabbiness or something like that. Oh, that's her in general. Wait, what? You did not hear that from me. <laughs> but anyway, alright, so... And this is going to be a pain, so let's get my arrows. There we go. Ah! Yes, they have to mix everything with the Dark Nuts again. And you will be seeing a lot of those in this episode. Or this level in particular. So let's go see where this takes me. Alright, right off the bat, we got the spell book. What this does, basically, I will show you. Go ahead and pull out your magic wand. 
creates a fire. Just like that. It creates more damage that way, so just kind of be aware of that. So, pretty much, we already just explored two rooms, and this is what we got here so far, so... Nothing really here that enemy will stay destroyed. So, no... No sweat, sister. So... Got this area. You have to go through all this crap just to avoid these bubbles. But we got these kind of Zol, I think his name is. How dare you try to avoid me? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm such a slot snob, you know. What a. Uh, not literally, but I'm just saying. My personations, I can sound like a slob, but that's about it. Oh, we got this jerk again. I good. Killed you. Now we can go. Let's see about nothing. Nothing there. Alright. Eh, ah, dark nuts, cause or Good thing they only take two hits now, so that they can still be a pain in the ass, though. I mean, really. Ah, stop turning in my direction. See, that's the worst thing about these dark nuts. They turn in your direction when you don't want them to. Now the key, so we got that. Let's go to the right here again. See what this is all about over here. Oh, the pole's voice. How nice. To see this again in Link's Awakening. And for those of you who played it, I will be LPing it for sure. Oh, well, I don't have to use my arrows now. They still take three hits with a magical sword, so it's kind of like... It sucks, pretty much. Alright, we got the compass. Alright, looks like nothing more is here that, that needs to be addressed. Kinda need conserve on bombs, but you know me. I don't listen to my own advice sometimes. Alright, so let's go to the left again. Uh, we got a mixture of enemies, like the level 5 again. Well, this is this level is like level 5, only worse, and more brighter, as more or less. Mr. Paul's voice, get over here, thank you. So, we got this room, we're gonna go more to the left. And a dark... Three red dark nut spree. Alright, just that. Don't think there's anything in between here. If my memory serves correctly, let's just keep going then, because I know there's nothing more here. Alright, so candle once again. And what's this? Oh, we got a blue goma! How nice! There we go. And just remember, your arrows matches your rupees. Takes away your rupees. And your shield won't protect against those beams, I guess. So, so much for beam me up, Scotty! Alright, whatever. Yeah, that can be time consuming, having to deal with that, sh that shenanigans this thing is putting up right now. You just gotta time it just right, and they will stay destroyed once you beat them. Thank goodness. Nothing there. We'll go to the left, right again. Uh, more mixed up madness. Well, that was kind of a weird. Alright, fine. I'll hit you from the other side then. Ah, uh, Gibdo! Go away, Gibdo! Ugh. 
Come on. Come on. Thank you. Alright, so let's see if there's anything to the right again by blowing a hole. Nothing. Go up again. Ah, the dark nuts are going to be the end of me. One of them better give me a fairy. I'm serious, they better give me a fairy. Alright, come on. Three and a half hearts now. Come on. I want to get some hearts right now. Well, here, give me the heart. Stop running into me, jerk. Ugh. I'm running out of bombs. There's that. Alright, let's go up. Might have to use a po- Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 don't think so. I'm gonna have to. I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to do it. It's the only way it's going to spare me from my miserable mightiness of not getting things done. Alright, let's go in with... Well, we're going to do boomerang. Because I have no freaking bombs. Get over here. I want your crab for dinner. Alright, so what, that was the map. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, go up. Ugh, not one of these again. Jeez. Of course, I was a little too late. And yeah, I got beams coming in from all directions. Ow. And he should be gonna open his eyes now. Oh, I gotta wait till one more try. I'm gonna risk getting hit just to kick your ass, man. Alright, so I don't have bombs yet, so I have to go up. Alright, red dark nuts. Doesn't mean things gonna change in terms of attitude and how they turn whenever you want don't want them to turn. Well thanks for the bombs though, I really appreciate that. Oh even more. Well how nice guys, how nice. You're very generous to me. So go over here. Nothing there. So let's go back down. Go here. See what's over here. Uh, Pull's voice again. Best. I'm just gonna use the quicker way of killing him. Yeah. And we got another stopwatch. You could have been helpful everywhere else. You know that, don't you? Well. So much for explaining it to them. Alright, more rupees this way. I don't think there's anything down. Anything to the side. No. Oh, I can go. Ah. What the hell, man? Jeez. Alright, fine. So, let's go... Up here. Thank you. Now, there is a second treasure. This is one of the dungeons that has two treasures in them. So, just so you know, it really mixed it up with the wrong enemies. Of course, why do I always put one inside? That just doesn't make any sense. Alright, so we need to tackle this guy. There we go. Why aren't you moving? Thank you for not glitching. Alright, so this is this is called the magic key. Basically, it eliminates the need for any more keys. So, there we go. We don't need any more. And we can go, go any lock door we want to. Especially, we're going to need it during level 9 for sure. So, now we need to go back down, though, because we need to go back to the real way to how to get the hell out of here. So, let's go back down twice. 
make a right turn. Oh, for crying out loud. The dark nuts are so nut brainy. Ow. Thank you. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. Dark nuts. Thank you. You think this is bad? Wait till you do the second quest. I mean, seriously. They're even more irritating. And the way they're positioned a lot of the time. It makes the game so impossible. So, we're given this situation. Easy to kill, but they take a lot of life. A heart, full heart of life, and it's just not... It's not fair, it's not right, but that's Zelda 1 for ya. Ow! Stop it. Thank you. Well, we're up to 16 bombs again. I'll go ahead and take those, even though I don't need them. Most likely not coming back here, because we got we still got a whole section to actually explore. Ow! Stop it. Stop it. And we got these guys again. There we go. Really don't need that key. Uh, we can't go down or to the right because that was where we just were. So I'm just gonna get the key, whether it's for posterity's sake or not. You know what I'm saying? Not sure we can go that way. Well, we can, but I really don't want to face the boss because because I don't wanna. Just saying. We're going to go get to the boss rather differently. So let's go ahead and use our candle. Because our... So now they give you keys galore like you don't need them right now. <laughs> Alright, so... Thank you. Alright, heart. Thank you. Thank you. Ted's Emmy has the bomb. Well, we... I always never can make heads or tails of that, but whatever the case is, you know. Alright, so we need to go back. Alright, so that's the boss. I think we got everything. So... I think we got everything. I'm not entirely sure, but you never know. There might be one room I have yet to explore. Yeah, I think there's one room we have not yet explored. I am going to stay here until you are dead, sir. Thank you. Alright, so we are maxed out at 16 heart containers. That is the best we can do. No turning back. So, let's go ahead and claim a prize. Now, I am actually going to go find out what that missing room is, so... Just give me a minute, we're gonna come right back and then we're into the dungeon, so if it's not anything important, we'll just end the episode in there, so. That's how I intend to do things. If it goes over 20 minutes, it goes over 20 minutes. I am just curious, if you know what I'm saying. And then I gotta defeat all these enemies again. Hey, go, Paladin, go. Like, I am going to win in Super Mario 64 versus, like, I don't care what the others say about it, you know what I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so the room is one more up. Would you stop doing that? It's no wonder I hate you guys so much. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I'm gonna hate you guys even more in the second quest, and I will tell you why. You will see why I hate them so much. Would you stop running into me? Bomb's heart. Thank you. We're going up again. Alright, I think we can blow a hole in the left. No, we can't, so we got to go. I'm not going there with you. 
So let's go over here. I don't think I ever explored this room. Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. Oh, for is this it? Jerk, 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 jerk. Whatever. So basically all it was is a secret. It tells you how to get to level 9. So, no really need to be alarmed. I know where to go. <sighs> I'm tired. I think I'm going to bed after this. But actually after we go to do level 9, I'm actually am going to go to bed after that. So, um, in the next episode of the Legends of the Original, we will go to level 9. So, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and also tell me how I'm doing this series. If you like what I did right, if you suggest and see how me do, like the Let's Plays. However, I do know what my Let's Play number 11 but won't be starting until like the end of 2014 for sure. But that's all I gotta say about that. But for right now, until next time, this has been Captain Pound LP. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.